Hi there and welcome to this insurance demo uh, running on CockNG. So today I want to show you a custom front end that uh, the users insure our fictional insurance brand that we use to showcase uh, insurance related cases. Um, this case we have a custom front end with a personal a virtual assistant called Surrey and uh, there's some elements here on the left that I can click on and I can also engage with the chat with this chatbot that is integrated in the website here on the right. So they asked me what what can I help you with today? So let's first introduce our, ourselves. So my name is Thais. Um I'm a solution architect here at Carting G, so I'll say hi Surrey. Um I'm Thais. Let's see if it recognizes that and it does. So it extracts the name which is based on a lexicon of uh, over forty thousand names. Um, and it then dynamically uses that, uses my name in its replies, and it will keep that in, in memory as well for this session at least. Uh, so that's what it can do for me today. Um, I could of course say I'm looking for travel insurance. I could also say travel insurance now. Um, some people might have a more elaborate story, and that's really the job of the NLU, the Natural Language Understanding, that's, that is part of CockNG, to extract the meaning of that sentence, so to extract the intent as we, as we call that. Uh, and based on that trigger another action. So in this case, I might say um, um, flying to Germany next week. Um, might need a uh, might need a travel insurance. So this is something um, a user could actually uh, say, and that that the AI should take into account. It reacts to that, so it first engages into some small talk. It now says Germany's a great country. Are you headed for Berlin? Again, this is a, a dynamic request uh, to a backend API, so it doesn't know all the capitals. It, it extracted the country name and it done, does an API request in the background and uses that again in the reply. Um, so I say no, I'm I'm actually uh, headed for uh, Munich for for business. I'm gonna de deliberately mistype that. Should not really should not really matter. So it should get the, um, the the capital city anyhow, and it should still understand the sentence. It's not it's not really sensitive to. Uh, to spelling mistakes. Um, would you like to learn more about a travel insurance offering? Sure, I do. Let's see what happens. So now the, the bot is actually driving the front end as well, which is not an interesting uh, uh, approach really, because you could do this in any way you, you like. And as we'll see in a bit, uh, you could also use it to fill out forms together or to run through processes together. Um, it now gives me some quick replies here to the right that I can click on. I could also just type something. In this case, I'm going to click on what is covered, and it then shows me some interactive elements here to the left, which I can click on again. So I'm not going to click on delay baggage. It then uh, sends this message um, as if it were me, right? So it's a quick reply. I click on this because uh, I'm too lazy to type, or I'm not really sure what to type. So it then sends this message for me, and it then answers it automatically as well. Um, at the same time, I could type something here, so I could say, um, so what happens in case of an emergency uh, uh, abroad? Let's see if it gets that. It gets that as well, and it then answers it. So it takes care of uh, the flight home, uh, the medical care, and the state emergency room, which of course is great. Um, I might now want to know which which regions are covered. So which um, which regions are covered? going to ask that as, uh, as well and it now jumps to the um, bottom again here and it shows me a map and it remembered again that Germany is the place I'm headed for so it keeps that in uh, memory as well again adding to this personal uh, personal element it's not just a, a question answer bot this is someone this is a bot that 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 keeps the conversation we have in context and uses that in its uh, in its answers um, this could, you know, if a user gets permission, this could be stored cross-channel as well. So if I would now interact with this bot over, for example, Facebook Messenger, it could also remember that I'm headed for Germany. And if I would do it, um, I don't know, maybe a month later, then it would, uh, it could ask, like, how was your trip to uh, to uh, Munich, right? Because I said I was headed for Munich. And this is a really great way of interacting and bonding uh, with the user to personalize this whole approach. Um, it So it remembers Germany is covered, I might say... Uh, Sounds uh, sounds good. Um, how much does it does it cost? Let's see if it gets that. It does, and it now offers me to go through a quick calculation together. I say yes, please, and it now shows this panel here on the left with a number of steps. Um, it asks me when I'm leaving. I might, of course, enter a, enter a date, but I could also say I'm uh, I'm uh, leaving uh, tomorrow, or or maybe just tomorrow. And um, it gets that, so it now highlights the calendar on the left, and it enters the date tomorrow. So I'm recording this now on the 18th of December. It highlights the 19th here on the left. Uh, it asks if it gets that right, so say yes, you did. 
um, and it then continues. You haven't logged into the portal, so I assume you don't have an account with us. That's correct. Yes, um, I am a new customer. So again, I don't have to just answer yes or no. I could also say sure, or I could, you know, enter a longer sentence. It's really again the natural language understanding that that the platform shifts with. Um, it remembered my first name, so it's asking that again. Uh, it's not asking it again, but it's asking for confirmation. So say yes, that's correct, and it then fills that out here to the left, which is really interesting. I can go in here, I can I can change it here, I can have the bot react to that, um, and this is great for for running through forms and processes uh, together with the user, not just for customer facing things um, uh, processes, but also for for internal company uh, processes. Um, if we're talking customer facing, especially if we're talking insurance uh, or a finance related um, a company, then then this is. Um, this can be really valuable because those processes tend to be quite uh, quite extensive. They require a lot of time. Users don't don't really like going through them. Um, so this is something where a bot can really help, especially with answering more difficult questions. Um, it now asks me for my last name, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna answer it, enter it here. It then fills it out to the left again, and my date of birth. So I'm just gonna type uh, my date of birth, birth this is 23rd. 1988. It then uh, should copy that again. Yes, it did. And it now asks me for my email address. So I'll enter my email address here uh, as well. And uh, it fills that out as well. So what it now does is it should it should send me an email in the in the background. And I already got something on my mobile phone, which is great. Not sure if the um, that's the version of Outlook pops up. Okay, so I got a code here three three five six six seven. And um, I'm now entering the code. Um, it accepts it. It again remembers that I'm headed for Germany. Um, this code, by the way, is generated. Uh, is generated could be generated on the server. It Cognigy sends it to uh, to the email address that the user just entered. Uh, this could be any authentication mechanism, right? You could have the whole bot behind a uh, uh, a logged in uh, well, in a portal behind the user login, but you could also do it on the fly and. And generate some sort of token uh, or send an SMS mes message over Twilio, which is also integrated with Cognigy. Um, you could even um, call a user with, with the same conversational AI flow to then uh, check its identity um, over over a phone line. There's uh, really many ways of going about this. Um, the important thing is that it should be uh, it should be fluent. It should be integrated in the whole process. So it now asked me if I'm headed for. Uh, oh, did I mention I was headed for Germany? Um, yes, that's uh, that's correct. And it says, "All right, so thanks for your patience, Thais, My first name again." And it now offers me two packages: one with a discount, of course, because it wants to do some upselling here in the insurance. Um, oh, and it tries to push me a bit. So it says, "Do we have a deal?" Uh, say, uh, "Yes, sounds uh, sounds great." Um, and it says all done. I'll send you confirmation per email. Make sure read the terms and conditions. And pleasure doing business with you, Ties. So of course you would at this point, um, you know, maybe integrate uh, payment as well, uh, especially if it's a new new user. Um, you could walk uh, him or her through a, through a, a credit card process, for example. Uh, Cognigy has a, has an out of the box integration uh, with Wirecard, which is uh, very interesting for 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 these use cases as well. But you could really set it up with with any type of uh, payment provider or generate a pop up to uh, to PayPal or any payment provider you might. Uh, might want to use. Um, you could also do that at a at a at a later stage, like I'm showing here, right? So I might uh, send a, send an email with um, with payment information, because that's not something all users necessarily want to do through uh, through a chatbot. So in this case, let's wrap this demo up. Um, pleasure doing business with you, Thais. Um I might say something like, uh, uh, likewise. Thanks, and then um, it says you're welcome. Take care. Right, so this wraps up the demo for today. Um, again, we have this interactive front end here. We have a chat history. I could request this chat history. But in general, the real um, purpose of this demo is to show how you could have a chatbot in a non-typical way so that doesn't that doesn't just live in a pop-up box, but is integrated in a, part of a fully integrated experience in the front end that at the same time builds um, tries to build a bond with me as a, as a, as a customer or as a pot potential customer by um, by engaging into some small talk. 
thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.